All right, so I wanna show you my new journal. It's pretty amazing. So I think it's definitely worth sharing. It's called Scribbles That Matter. That's the name of the company. And the size that I have here is A5. So this is an A5 journal. Um, it comes, it's like this vegan leather cover and it comes with a pen loop and it has their STM, Scribbles That Matter. And the pen that it comes with is a nice felt tip pen. And it just slides right into the loop. I love that it has an elastic closure and that the closure is a contrasting color. So I chose the turquoise and then the elastic closure that came with is this fuchsia. So first page you open up to, um, it actually has a little thing on underneath this. I added this, but it has a space for you to write your name. Um, I just printed out my own because I didn't like the, the writing that I did for their own nameplate thing. And there are a couple of empty pages. So I decided to make those my gratitude pages. So I added some stickers up here and a tab here. And then we have the index. So uh, this is sort of a ode to the bullet journal idea that notebooks should have an index so that we can flip through and see where everything is. So this is what I have in my index so far. Um, I just put a sticker again at the top to make it pretty. And there are four pages for the index. And then I have a page, a blank page. And so I made a stripe collage. I like stripe collage. And then this is the first page that I actually did in this journal is all about how much I love this journal. So uh, testing out a new journal so far, I'm in love and all the reasons why I'm in love. It came in this really cute package with some cards and yeah, this, it was love right from the beginning. So I did some writing and brainstorming about project that I have and some collage stuff. We've been getting into charcuterie, so I made some notes on the charcuterie party that we had a couple of days ago. Not really a party, but we had another family come over. And then this is my spread for all the books that I've read so far in 2024. So every time I read a new book, I'll just enter the title into one of the spines. And I used a uh, ribbon to make the planters. And I also, because I'm gonna be coming back to this page quite often, I made a little tab for it using that same ribbon. And then I wanted to test and see how the journal did with watercolor paint. And I actually don't really love how it looks. Somehow it got all these little dots, like little specks in the paint. And I'm not sure why that happened. I mean, from afar, the rainbow looks great, but it's definitely not a watercolor journal. And of course they didn't market it as a watercolor journal, but um, so I printed out some photos and did some little doodles and then added some stickers, just all about summer so far. And I try to date every page so that when I'm going back to it, I can see when it was that I did the page. Um, this is the stuff that I bought for the nest so far. So stuff for inside and then the construction of it. And then I did a little collage. I love collage and I haven't done a lot lately. So I picked out some of my favorite pieces that have been kind of lying around and just made a little quick little page with those. And same with these pages. Uh, so this is in preparation for writing. So I did a little bit dabs of watercolor here and I can write all around the plant. And then here, of course I can write or doodle or whatever I want around the lemons. This, I've had this page, this tear out of a magazine. It's a Better Homes and Gardens magazine from, uh, probably from spring 2024. And I just love this room. And I kept coming back to this room and I was like, finally, I'm gonna tear out the page and put it in my journal. And so then why I love this room and I made it, I, I love pretty things. So I 
used some sticker letters and my bullets are little hearts. And uh, yeah, so I love this group. And then uh, we went out for supper a couple of nights ago and I got all dressed up and I felt really, uh, I felt really fancy. I felt really pretty. So I took a picture of myself and I decided to put that in my journal. So um, I like that every page has a number on it. So you can see this page number 19. So then if I go back to my index, then I can see page 19 is for the Alice Steakhouse. So the two pages that I hadn't written on yet, the pages with the lemons and the plant, um, I didn't put an entry for that into the index yet because I don't know what I'm going to write on. I just wanted to get these pictures down because I love them. Um, so yeah, so far I'm super loving this journal and I'm excited to fill it with more stuff. I just printed this off and then used some washi tape from Katie Daisy to tape it in. Um, and yes, there will be much more to come, I am sure. <laughs>